I'm going to put up a slide here on the screen that's going to correspond to page 147. Here's the deal. When it comes to page two of the closing disclosure, on page two, what, what makes it different from the loan estimate is we don't just attribute dollar amounts to sections. Okay, we do that, but we also add in seller and borrower paid and paid by others columns. Both the borrower and the seller paid columns have a at closing and a before closing column. And then paid by others is just at the closing table. The seller paid columns, if the seller is specifically paying for something, okay, one of the misconceptions, one of the misconceptions is that, oh, I have to disclose something in the seller paid column if the seller's paying for a borrower charge. Well, that's true. That has to be done. And so if in section B, the seller is paying for a, a borrower charge or a portion of the borrower's charge, you have to disclose that in the seller paid column. But it also includes instructions to, to disclose anything that's paid that's simply a seller charge. And so an example that I can give you on this, on this page, page number 147, 